I'm Lauren Eldahar, and this week we are talking about selling your home. When it's time to make a move, the first step is selling your current home. And I know this can be overwhelming, but with a strategic approach, you can be on your way to your new home in no time. So in this video, I'm going to break down my step-by-step -step guide to selling your home quickly and smoothly. As always, if you have any questions, my contact info is in the comment box, so don't hesitate to call, text, or email. I love getting your questions coming in from all over. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video to let me know that you're watching. Step one, fixer upper. This is when we need to channel our inner Chip and Joanna Gaines. Should any parts of your home need attention before allowing your agent to list your property, take care of these first. Some fixes are cosmetic and can be easily handled by you, while others may be more significant and require a professional. Walk the inside and the outside of your home with a critical eye, noting any areas for improvement. Ask yourself, would I pay top dollar for this home in this condition? Once you've created your to-do list, take into account the time and money it will take to complete your list. Begin with the most impactful fixes. It doesn't have to be perfect, but some improvements can help generate a faster sale that will net you more money. Step two, the amazing race. Don't worry, selling your house will be much easier than winning that show, but picking the right partner to get you through this process is critical, so team up with a realtor. Some people think they don't need a realtor, but the proof is in the numbers. Last year, 89% of homes sold with the help of a real estate agent. With for sale by owners typically selling for less than the selling price of other homes and mostly to people that they already know. The truth is, enlisting the expertise of a realtor will pay for itself. Step three, the price is right. You need to price your home competitively in the current market. Determining the appropriate asking price is arguably the most important part of selling your home. If you price it too high, your home might sit on the market for months, maybe not even selling. Overpricing your house is exactly like being on contestants row, but overbidding on every prize. You're never gonna get called on stage with Bob Barker. Similarly, if you overprice your home, you're not gonna get a good offer. Your home will sit and sit, maybe you'll drop the price and then someone will come by and give you a low ball offer. Price it too low and you risk leaving money on the table. Have your real estate professional prepare you an analysis of the prices at which comparable properties in your area have sold. This information will help you make a strategic decision on pricing to get your home sold quickly and for top dollar. Step four, the match game. Now it's time to find your buyer, the one for your home. It's kind of like dating. You have to go where the other single people are. The best marketing plan is the one that targets channels buyers are already using to find homes. And these days, buyers are mostly searching homes online and through the real estate agent. Be sure that your realtor is marketing your home on the internet and networking with other local agents. Step five, house hunters. Preparing for showings is important because you want to put your best foot forward. Home buyers touring your home want to picture themselves living there. Any distractions from that idea are what you should be trying to avoid. So keep your house clean, dust free, and odor free. A clean home tells the buyer that the home is cared for. Clean your windows and open the blinds and curtains. Let all the light in. Get rid of the clutter. It makes your home look bigger and allows the buyer to imagine what they would use each space for, especially in the bathroom. They do not need to see what kind of toothpaste you are using. Try to depersonalize your space. Remove personal photos and belongings. They shouldn't be distracted by imagining you there. Don't forget to check outside. The walk to the front door is the first impression. Step six, let's make a deal. Now it's time to entertain offers and negotiate the terms of the sales contract. Once an offer is received, your agent will present it to you. Behind door number one, we have $400,000 with a 10 day inspection period and closing in 45 days. Don't stress, most negotiations are completed without much difficulty but this is another time teaming up with a good agent comes in handy. If issues arise, your agent should be able to come up with creative solutions and communicate effectively with the buyer. It's so important to trust your agent and communicate well with them. They need to understand what is most important to you and be willing to answer all your questions to ensure that you understand the full impact of each term of the deal. Step seven, it's the season finale. Visualize your dream scenario for selling your home. See yourself walking out of the closing and taking steps into the next award-winning season of your life. Once all the pending conditions and contingencies laid out in your sales agreement have been met, it's time to close. 
Your closing team will help you determine the total amount due from the buyer. You will sign all the necessary documents. All the necessary documents. So many documents. And then you'll turn over your keys. Your home will have a new owner and your goal of selling your home is complete. So smile, take a deep breath, and move on to what is next for you and your family. I hope you found these steps useful. If you have any questions about these steps or any specific real estate situation you're in, you know where to find me. Don't forget to subscribe for a new video every Wednesday about all things real estate and life in South Florida.